Hey, this is Mike, and I just want to talk about nano dimensions. Crazy price movements over the past couple of weeks, especially yesterday, since it fell 21%. And there were a number of factors that led to its fall. One is there was a direct um, private offering of the stock at $3, which dragged it down from the nearly $4 level. And second, we just had a big sell-off across the markets. And when you have a sell-off across the markets, the high flyers tend to fall the hardest. It's usually just a reversion to the mean. But if you just take a look at a one-month chart of nano dimensions, it has literally gone from 158 up to over 5 and back down to 313. If you look at the move from 158 to like 515, 313 is almost the midpoint. And I've talked before about when a stock moves it, you know, very, very fast, very quickly. There tends to be uh, a gap, a gap that fills about 50% way uh, back down. There is nothing really, I would say, bad about the company that's just calling the this fall. I believe it's a combination of short-term traders who have taken profit, in the combination with the the entire stock market has not been doing well the past month, so it's going to drag it down. However, the long-term prospects of Nano Dimensions is really well. I mean, the private offering was to raise funds, um, really for their operations in particular marketing. So that's a good sign if Nano Dimensions feels confident enough to um, spend big on their marketing. They look like they're they're about to have um, some good quarters ahead of them. So you just really have to. Um, ride the wave. Now, if you bought into Nano Dimensions at four and five dollars, this is going to be real painful, and it makes you want to sell the stock. But you know, at this point, you have to just when you when you buy at the top and the stock begins to fall, you really have to remember why you bought the company. You know, besides the fact that Ark Innovation invested into Nano Dimensions, which caused the initial rise in the stock, it is a very good company that makes 3D printed. Um, assets for companies and therefore they have a they have a very good future they're a disruptive company and it's definitely a stock that you want to hold for the long term and then finally i just want to say this is a penny stock it's you know three dollars and 13 cents so it's going to have price changes that you know five ten fifteen percent up and down days are going to be typical so you almost have to treat penny stocks like an option um, contract just by its volatility However, I would just say wait a doubt. I think Nando Dimensions is much more likely to move higher than it is to move lower. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and go ahead and subscribe and turn on notifications. I do multiple updates on stocks, the stock market, everything from penny stocks to EV stocks and all that. Okay, thank you very much. Bye.